<laughs> hey kids, hey Joe Weaver coming at you. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, this past weekend has been the 50th anniversary of the Beatles album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band being released. And I have here the brand new box set. So I figured I would actually do an unboxing video for you. Unboxing, whatever. Without really editing much in the video. Because usually I do a lot of editing, but uh, this is something different, so thought you might like to see it. I'm a little bit behind everyone else's, but uh, what does it matter? We're here to have fun, right? Here, let's get in here. Oh, it's double boxed. That's good. So, at least it's well protected. Amazon. <laughs> Very well protected. But I am perfectly okay with that. Should or should come out. Sergeant Pepper. That looks fab. Fab. Plastic off here. For which I won't use the box cutter because I don't really want to have a valuable bit. I don't want to mess it up. Because it was not cheap. But. Oh, everything I've seen so far it looks like it's worth it. <laughs> Be free, plastic. All right, here we go. That is incredible. I don't know if you can see this cover in the picture, but it changes as you move it into light here. That is so cool. This, oh yeah, that's a little cover over it. This is the front, this is the back here. Listing everything that's in it. If you can see a lot. <laughs> My ceiling fan. <laughs> Groovy. It is cool. Alright. I wonder if this looks like an old tape box. Here, so I should be open it. Let me see if I can get it a little higher so you can see doing this. There we go. I'll set it up here. Open carefully. Oh wow. This. This is nice. When I open it up, it has it looks like the album. I know it didn't have the vinyl in this box. I wish it did have the vinyl in this box. It's probably my biggest complaint pre buying it is that it didn't include the vinyl. I have the Beach Boys Smile box set, which has the vinyl in it. It seems like it's about the same size. It would have fit fine. Um, Burt can't win them all. This. It's cool. It, look, it looks like the vinyl. Or the uh, record cover. Spines. <laughs> the spines upside down. Interesting. But uh, it's cool. Let's see if I can get this open here. Without having to use the box cutter. Don't really want to use the box cutter on anything but. 
package it came in because I don't want to I don't want to scratch anything. But we'll do what we can. Come on. Tangled. Is he all tangled up there? There we go. Be gone, plastic. Alright. I want to say everyone says open it carefully so the things don't fall out. Yeah, I can see what they mean now. Ooh, straighten it up a little bit. Yeah, I can see what they, what they mean. Definitely be careful when you're opening this to make sure the discs don't fall out. But this is it. It opens up into this. Has all the discs and the DVDs. I don't know if you can see that well or not. But go through here. Disc one is the new stereo mix. Phone label. Very cool. Interesting how it opens from the top. You'd think being like miniature album covers, it opens from the side. But, it's not the way it is. But that's fine. That'll make it easier to get out from other angles. See, this is from the sessions. Disc. Disc here. Also a nice parlophone label. <coughs> Excuse me. Voice is kind of shot a little bit. I played a gig last night. This is another sessions disc. I'm so excited to hear this. Parlophone, as I expected. I love the covers on these alternate covers. Let's see. Oh, this is mono album plus bonus tracks. Very cool. So cool to see these alternate covers. And is it, is it, is it, is it, is it? Yes, Parlophone. As we all expected it would be. Cool. Alright, this one says Blu ray. Okay. Sorry, video messed up there for a second. Phone went kind of crazy. Anyway, this is the uh, Blu-ray. It has the new surround sound mix and the making of Sgt. Pepper and promotional films. Here in such what does this look like? Oh, very cool. Just like the uh, here. Got that cool Blu-ray back shad there. I <laughs> see the phone I'm filming it on. And my Hardy Boys puzzle is holding it up. Cool. Let's see here. Oh yes, and this is the DVD version. Must also have the uh, new mix on it. Let's see here. DVD. Cool. That looks like that as well. I guess the Blu-ray and the DVD are the same. Just both are included here for people, I guess, if they don't have a Blu-ray player. But I guess most people these days have a Blu-ray player, but some people don't. It's, I've only recently switched over myself, so uh, it's not like you're behind the times or something if you don't have one. Uh, they still include it for everybody. Alright, also included here, this is cool, let's see, it's a poster. Ah, yes. Very cool. Very nice poster. Alright. 
Oh yes, and the reproduction of the Mr. Kite poster that John Lennon bought and used as the inspiration for the song being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. That is so cool. So cool. Sure. Cool. And of course, that is this. Which is very cool. One day I'm going to buy an extra copy of this album just so I can cut these out and mess with it. Because I have an original part of the phone that has it. And I have the box set that has it. I need to at least buy a reissue album so I can just mess around. But, being a collector, I always like, kind of weird about it, that, so. In none of my copies of Sgt. Pepper have I ever cut it out. Which is strange, because I actually have several of those. Let me see, it's kind of sliding on me here. Stay. I got it on this box, kind of balancing on my leg here. All right. Yes. Ooh, this is hefty. Hefty book. That's cool. There's a book that came with it, also in plastic. Everything is in plastic. But, I guess for the money that you're spending, they want to make sure everything is well taken care of. Oh, plastic. Everywhere. Come on. There we go. You can, see, you can watch me struggle with plastic. <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. Ah. Be gone, plastic. This book. I'm going to have to set this aside here so I can to this better and show you the book. Right, let's see here. Oh nice, the inside has the what is the inner sleeves of the original album. That's the design that was on it. Oh that's very cool. Backside like that too. But I'll uh Try to skim through this a little bit for you. I'm sure someone out there has a much better camera and a much better way of doing this. But I'll still go through it a little bit for you. Sure if I can. Whoa, it's hefty. Alright. Light. There we go. Let's put you there. You give the gist. I'll just go like what? <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> anyway, it's a big, a big old book. All kinds of coolness. So I've seen other people open this up and actually do it. Well, a lot better than I'm doing here. But uh, either way, I look forward to really getting into this book. But, anyway, that's what's in the box. There you have it. The new Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band box set. Yeah. I'm excited to listen to it now. So I'm going to do, do that. You go buy it too, or find the other smaller versions. Because I'm, I'm mainly looking forward to hearing the new stereo mix of Sgt. Pepper. And there is uh, several different issues that they put out. In the past week and a half or so, there's a, a two CD version and uh, a two LP version, which has the new mix plus some some outtakes. But I had to spring for the whole thing so I could hear all the outtakes and be the cool guy with all the box sets and stuff, because that's... Um, I'm weird, I do that. Ugh. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Keep rocking.